sum up what the last couple of days have been like for you? Yeah, obviously brilliant. Um, I think we all knew as it was getting nearer, you know, we just wanted to get it done. And you know, I think the game the other night showed the first half people say, you know, it wasn't, wasn't great, but they had everything to play for West Brom. I watched the game back yesterday and um, they were compact, they were difficult to play against, they controlled a lot of the game. But then second half, um, I thought we'd come out and we with what we can do, um, another clean sheet. Um, so yeah, it was it's great to get it done. Obviously, the players and staff had a, a, a couple of shandies, and uh, all ready for the next three games. Uh, was that before you watched the video back of the West Brom game, or after? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, we, had, we had a good night naturally the other night. Um, I, I got back and obviously watched the yeah watched the game back, um, and there were some good parts. But uh, yeah, focus now is obviously turns to we've had a you know a terrific season, um, and we want to finish it. We don't want to just finish, you know, just. You know, poorly. We want to finish the best we can. Yeah, the, it can. I can only imagine that in the sort of hours after a game like that, where the success is achieved, and all right, of course the lads are going out on the on yeah. to have a few beers and stuff. But it can seem a little bit like pandemonium, and it all whizzes by in a blur. Yeah, well, that's you said. You know, we've got we've it's gone without saying we've worked really hard. Um, you know, this season and obviously since we've been in, everybody, everyone connected to the club. You know, we've got a. Um, Really top group of players, as we know, great experienced professionals, a really good staff um, and a big staff. But you know we've got a, and they've all you know played a part in it. So um, it was great to get it done naturally, um, and we just, as I said, now we we it call it, you've got to enjoy it because straight away you're thinking of next season. Obviously the manager, the staff, you know the people that we're, we're looking to bring in now. It, we don't switch off. The players have got to enjoy what they've done naturally. Um, but it's the next game, it's, it's the next season. You know, you start now thinking about at least we know where we are now um, and what, you know, the recruitment's going to look like. Uh, yeah, and sort of wider dis discussions will be had on this, I suppose, but just in the, in the basic sense, it, is the list sort of finalised of contracts for the lads that you want to keep being offered, all that type of thing? No, not this moment. That'll be done over, I think, the next seven days. Um, I think Paul will sit down. Uh, I think he's got a, a, a chat with the owner today at some stage, and, and you know, we were, it's, it's, it's a fine balance in really, because obviously we still need to know what the budget's going to be, etc., and you know what can be brought in, what we can do. Um, so there's still a lot, but it's, there's, it's, a, it's an ongoing process. You know, we had sort of looking at if you know if we, if we go up, what we'll need, how many positions we'll need, who we'll need to keep, etc., etc. But that that'll be that'll be decided, I'd imagine, in the in the next seven days. Um, one thing that Paul mentioned the other night was not just about this season, but essentially about last season as well. Mm -hmm. And when when he took over, so obviously a few day, a few days later, you obviously came in yeah. 16th in the division. How how do you keep a squad so focused, essentially for two years? No, I, I, again, I'll go back to my first day when I came in, and, and I, I said to you guys before, um, first thing I said to the, the group when we met was, if we as a staff Paul, Jack, myself, Jerky, we can't, and, and obviously, we can't this, get this group of players, you know, up and around the playoffs last season, then we won't be doing our job right. Um, thankfully, we managed to do it, but we didn't have that group of players. You know, you, you know the injuries that we had last season, so that was testing. And obviously, at the beginning of this season, for a large part of it, um, we were reduced in numbers significantly. Um, but I think it just it, it comes from setting standards. We've got a lot of good, not only good talented players, a lot of good people, first and foremost. And I always say, I said it all my career, um, your football club is only as good as your experienced pro pros who's running the dressing room. And uh, when I came to the club, I knew of some of them, but didn't actually know deep down the characters. And you get to find that out, you know, over, over the course that we had. And we've got some real good leaders in there. Um, so, but it's all about setting standards, you know, wherever, you know, wherever you are, if you're in the gym, if you're on the training pitch, wh wherever. You know what I mean? It, it's keeping your standards high and, and pushing each other. And I think the lads have done that themselves. But you need somebody to leave that and lead it and drive it. And uh, the manager's done an outstanding job at that. And, and that seems particularly pertinent with, we all know it's all kind of out there now, isn't it? That all has not been well with certain issues behind the scenes and keeping the players focused basically on keeping them standards high. Yeah, exactly. You know, we, we, we discussed it 
often we there's nothing the players can do about it. The only thing that is a cloud is obviously the, the lads who those contracts are up, and you know we couldn't give them or haven't been able to give them a. But you know, true to their professionalism, they just they know the score, so they, they've just got to get down. We we can't change many things about embargoes and whatnot that's going on. Um, we can just. The best we can do is make sure the players are prepared when they go out in that park, be it Saturday, Tuesday, whenever we're playing. Um, and I said the, ma the manager's been outstanding at doing that. You know, his preparation is meticulous. Everyone knows, and it's not just the first eleven who's starting; it's throughout the squad. Mm. Um, and I think he's respected by everyone in the in the dressing room. And when you have that respect, you go that, you know, yard further, don't you? Um, two final uh, points from me. What's the what's the kind of thought with regard to team selection from here on in, as best you possibly can? Give a few lads a game. H how's it going to work in the last three? Yeah. Now, now objectives achieved. Yeah, obviously the, the um, it's the last home game, so um, we've got still a few. Unusually, we do normally we do the team today, but we're, we're going to leave it to tomorrow. We've still got a couple of bumps and bruises, um, and we'll have a little look at it tomorrow. Um, but no, the, listen. We got what we've got now. 85 points. I think last time I was fortunate enough to be here as an assistant. I think we got 90. So there's a little thing. Most wins in a season. I think we're on 25-1 behind Burnley. Um, and the lads might get a few quid if they get another clean sheet. So there is target still to go for. Um, and like I say, a lot of the lads will be. It's the last game of the season at home. And. Um, you know, I think most of them will want to go out on a high on that one and you know, show the, the supporters. Because I've got to say, I think going back to Wembley, you know, the support was outstanding. But the other night, that was it, again, looking back when I first came in, I remember coming with Blackpool, and I think Blackpool four times in the game sang, is this a library? And that was my big, biggest disappointment when I came with Blackpool to, to Bramall Lane because I've always found the atmosphere electric and I've been lucky enough to, to be involved in it. And the key for me, you know, what would success be? The success would be getting the supporters back on side, you know, filling the ground, letting them back us all the way, because that will mean we've been successful. And the other night was was something else, you know, it was, was outstanding. It was it, it really was. I mean, I know, obviously, a lot of my family and friends went down to Wembley, enjoyed the occasion, uh, but the other night, you know, it was, it was a coming together of everybody on it, which was which was brilliant. And just finally, do you, given all of the kind of personal and professional qualities of this squad, I mean, is is it sort of the the basic plan to use most of that next season, I suppose, rather than making sort of big big changes? Yeah, probably. I mean, I, th I think obviously we're going to have to look at the loan market again. Yeah. I would imagine. Um, I think the recruitment this season, what we we brought one player in, didn't we, in an L, you know, actually paid money for. And the other ones have been the loanees that have come in to supplement what we already had. Um, and a couple of the other young ones have, have pushed on a little bit as well. So, yeah, I think when you look back at last season, the slight disappointment we had um, against Forest and, 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 you know, missing out in the playoffs and then, you know, losing somebody like Morgan Gibbs-White, who was, you know, everyone looked at him as a bit of a talisman for them and outstanding. But we've had people, stand, you know, come up to the play, obviously, Eliman, you know, has really come to the fore but a lot of players you know have played the part uh, in a great squad squad effort but um, yeah again I think that'll be all discussed over the next seven days but yeah we'll, we'll, we'll bring players in I don't think we'll be doing a forest and in fact we'll bring in 55 players in but there will be obviously naturally um, you know, new faces that coming. Yeah, I suppose it's just that you're going to ask City about Doyle and McAtee. I mean, that's kind of a fairly basic. Yeah, I, I think I think it's common now that you know next season you can only have one loanee from each club. Um, so, you know, I don't know how they stand on on that. But there, there's been discussions being held and going on um, about lots of players.